VVTM 13's John Papke shows us why the project could breathe more life into the aviation history hub. We've simply run out of space. Brian Bersante runs Birmingham Southern Museum of Flight, which has now been around for half a century. We started out in 1966 as a handful of display cases over at Samford at the library. And the museum has grown now to include uh, 100 aircraft in about 55,000 square feet of space. Located near the Birmingham airport, the museum has now run out of room to expand. Then this week, Birmingham approved a land swap to move the museum to these 24 acres in blue near the Barber Motorsports Park. Bersante said last year, 60,000 people visited the museum. We think that in our first year alone at the new site, we can more than double those figures. Bersante says this new museum will not only boost attendance, but bring much needed space. Right now, this warehouse is used for both restoration and storage, and as you can see, is running out of room fast. The new location will give them nearly twice as much square footage and access to the 75 to 100,000 fans heading to the Barber Motorsports Park. Those people who like to visit you know, the motorcycle museum and see race cars as well, see aircraft, that transportation theme, the need for speed theme. The $8 million project will break ground next year and should be open no later than 2020. In Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.